the advice of the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Illuminati with uh, yours truly, Crip, and this lovely lady here, Trix. <laughs> uh, here comes I'm my shot. Here comes my shot. I'm afraid I can't <laughs> share her jovial enthusiasm uh, for this introduction. Uh, mm. no, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, you might you might note He's that sick. I'm a little puffy-eyed. And it's not because He's of the usual... He's puffy-eyed. He's glassy-eyed. Uh, because coughing. of the usual late nights that tricks and I are want to do separately. <laughs> uh, separately. But the uh, fact is, well, you're seeing this show originally on this Tuesday evening, uh, August 23. Right. Unfortunately, just a couple of days ago, on the day that we usually associate with Ninoy Aquino's demise, and it also happens to be, well, my, my uh, one of my gods, uh, one of my apos birthday, uh, it just added another milestone factor. My second mother, the, my literary mother, Edith Tempo, National Artist for Literature, passed away. That was on Sunday, two days ago. So I'm a little bit on the stunned side still, you know, uh, less than 48 hours after I got the news. Uh, I might be coughing during the show, and Trix will be ready to... I'll do my uh, best to rescue him. <coughs> like now. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, uh, we have um, a topic for tonight that we have not yet done uh, in the year, year and a half that we've had the show, Trix and I, you know. Uh, we've spoken about art, we've spoken about individual art, we've had artists on the show. Mm -hmm. What makes this particular episode uh, distinctive is that we are talking about the art of one man, one person who is quite close to us, and to the two guests that we have with us. And this is the art of Carlos Dennis Filart, a good old friend. Unfortunately, he cannot be with us uh, for the show talking about his own works, which is why we have asked uh, a couple of his very close friends to help out. And may I introduce uh, to Trixus Wright, Red Mansueto, artist, uh, we've had you as a guest here before, Red, right? Uh, together with Nap Pamir. And uh, <coughs> to Red's right, Mr. Vincent Possum, also a uh, very close and loving friend of Dennis Finard. So that's what we have in common uh, in the show. We want to talk about Dennis's art, especially since he has a grand exhibit coming up on Friday, August 26th, at the Art Circle. Art Circle, yeah. Art Circle Gallery uh, at the Balai Alumni Building in UP Diliman. That's right behind what's called the Adarna Theater or the UP Film Center. Uh, people who are used to Diliman, lunching and mid ending, would be familiar with Chocolate Kiss. The, grand, the, the, the main Chocolate Kiss is on the second floor. There's an adjunct chocolate kiss on the side, ground floor. Oh. And that, that is what leads you to the gallery that is <laughs> woman by Kitty uh, Alcantara. Kitty yeah. Alcantara, yeah. So uh, can you guys talk about how, well, we probably start with how you became very good friends with Dennis, so much so that you're practically proxying for him on this show. Well, actually, uh, the first time we met Dennis was uh, 
in J. Walter Thompson. We were all working as uh, art directors, uh, and Vince here was a writer. Uh, Dennis and Vince were with uh, the Ford group, and I was with another group. And uh, of course, it was uh, the best times of our advertising life. In fact, uh, the people who were working with Dennis in J. Walter Thompson are working on this show to make it possible. All right. Okay. Vince, I, I suppose we should share with our viewers now what we know and they still don't. Why exactly Dennis can't be here with us and why we have to rely on you guys to talk about the show. Um, Dennis found out a month or so that after he was seeing some aches and pains and he thought it was just he thought it was just muscular pain and had in fact um, had himself massaged and everything and then he come back and he found out that he has stage four cancer. And so the deterioration was rather rapid, but um, I think he's doing better. Okay. It's good to know. Since he's, we all know he's battling it out. You know, yes. Big C, right? Yes. And yeah, that as long as you keep putting up a struggle, there is hope. Mm -hmm. yeah. and rage, who knows? rage. Maybe even this matter of having his art together under one roof starting on Friday and going on for probably a couple of weeks at the gallery might be enough to get him out of whatever fact, ill state he's in. In fact, we'd rather think of it as a relaunch of his career rather than a... That's right. Uh, rather than yeah, because not too many people really know Dennis to be yeah. yes. a full-fledged artist. No? Yes. Uh, it, w what have you heard or uh, no, uh, since you're not of our generation, obviously? <laughs> 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 I knew he was a painter. Yeah. But um, other than that, I was not that familiar with him venturing into anything other than painting. So, yeah, I would say we were not too familiar, and I'm very glad that we'll be getting the opportunity to see all of his works in, in one show, this upcoming show. He is also known to be a very versatile artist, no? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Does that always happen with artists who train or who have their early careers in the advertising industry? We think so because um, advertising, if there is one, if there is one thing that, uh, that, that we can ascribe to advertising, it is discipline. It is uh -huh. after all a scientific um, method of marketing, of selling. And we always say that there is no one style. I mean, um, a person who says that I am an automotive writer. Um, me, if you are simply that, then that's the only thing you're going to do for the rest of your career. An advertising man is one who has many styles mm -hmm. and picks that out style yes. according to the need. And so we think that this discipline of, of being able to have, of being able to, to, to what do you call this, rein in muses rather than one, um, makes Dennis a very, makes advertising or artists or painters with advertising background um, rather unique. Uh, uh, multifarious in their genres, you know. And also, uh, as an art director in advertising, uh, you have to, versatility is a plus because uh, that is how you are trained. So you carry that in the fi finer arts. Okay. That versatility is a plus sign that you can do anything that you want to do. I suppose that's under the that's principle true. of, in literature we call it, form follows function. Yeah. Kung ano inihingi ng produkto, you know, you can just stick to one yeah, style. Yeah, no? true. Uh, merong pakenggo, yeah. may comics, yeah. merong yeah. classic, merong yeah. Yeah. So th th that's, the, that's the thrust also with this exhibition because uh, the paintings that will be shown here is, is uh, carried from all the years that he has done. Okay. From the first exhibition, the, the first show that he had, he still had his works there. Uh, 
uh, the unsold ones of course and the uh, father's until this show. I have seen some specimens on uh, in the internet. Yes, uh, as apart have I. From the Sibin's here prepared a wonderful two minute video which you will share with you uh, to start our second uh, half of the show. But for now I think we can call on uh, the sort of a slideshow. Uh, we have several stills to show uh, as samples of Vince's work, which guys feel free to add. Uh, 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 and we start with this. So what, Carlos oh, this is what? Social realist style, right? uh -huh. uh, Would you be able to date uh, circa what? Uh, red? Uh, I think this is a part of the latest show that ah, we had okay, in, okay. in Gallery Anna. Part of the Nazarino series. Yeah, I, see, I, see. I think okay. it's a part of the Nazarino. Another body of his. Oh, ito, iba naman to, ibang style to. Yeah, ibang oh. style. Parang Dutch classicist. Yeah, parang yes. classicist. Yeah, dark, no? This is the red violin or something. Nazarino oh, series. Nazarino series. Yeah. What would the what would the medium be? Pagano? Oil. Ito oil. Oil, yeah. Mm. Actually, this nas nas yeah. uh, pero and the, ano? This Nazarenos this Nazaren Nazareno series was also shown in uh, <coughs> the Ayala Museum and then okay. transferred to uh -oh. Mega Mall. How large would this would this uh, works be? Medium. They vary. Yeah, oh, vary. Yeah. There are large ones. The yeah. Nazarena series are, are huge. Ito, epic. Those are big. Ito, ito, no? I mean, it comes from another series. I think yeah. from a women series. Or hmm. Yes. When you see a lot of his works, actually, for the first time, you wouldn't guess as a first-time viewer that it w they were created by the same person. Yeah. So that's, exactly. I think, yeah. what's really exactly. remarkable uh, about yeah. his work. Versatility. Uh, some of them are very soft, yeah. and then some of them are very striking that's and bold. Right. Uh, In fact, we were thinking... Perhaps it could another another tack of marketing there or, or, or promoting the exhibit was to actually say that it was developed by several artists. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> 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 parang mother and mother and child. Ito parang Madonna yeah. and child. Yeah, Madonna, Madonna uh -huh. and child. Bakal man multiple personalities talaga tungo si Dennis. Bakal na. Boxer din yun. And the Beatles <laughs> expert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, guitarista. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Little singer. No? Uh, in love with history. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, mm. yeah. And yeah, that's right. He had all these archival yeah. photos archival, that he shared. Yeah. No, oh, oh. Ito nga parang very contemporary, no? Yung La Ro series. Yeah. La, Ro La Ro series, no? That is what I like. Ito yung mga This one again is very uh, different. Yeah. Of course, we hear you saying again, you like Nothing the news. Nothing blasphemous here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Every artist we have featured uh, that has photos of nudes, he always comments, Ah, oh, itong gusto ko ay yung nudes. <laughs> 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 I <laughs> wonder <laughs> why. <laughs> Isn't that that one? An uh, installation or a painting? Na? It's a painting. Ah. Yeah. Ibang levels, eh, no? Parang it's like a pastel. Uh, ito ibang iba talaga. Parang ano, parang yung uh, style nila. Bayans, no? Belena. There is so much detail that goes into every But piece he doesn't just do oil, but may oil, some acrylic, my watercolor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Some of the nudes, I think most of the small nudes are watercolor. Yeah. Uh, how many, would you know kung ilang total of mga ilang artworks ang may exhibit starting I, this Friday? I'm not sure on how how many. Uh, most probably around 30, more or less. Uh, more uh, or less, or maybe uh, more. Around 30. Yeah. And he will be there, or we're hoping that he'll be we there. Hope, we hope. Uh, Depends with how he's feeling right now. Yeah, he's, uh, but I he think should. he undertook yeah. chemotherapy yeah. Yeah. last week. No? Yeah. So, to have sufficient time to recover. Yeah. Uh, Saan lang doon para makapagkanta uh, ng Beatles? 
Uh, yeah. That's the intention. Yeah. <laughs> that's the intention, actually. There will be beer, yeah, singing. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so it's a reunion with the old reunion. gangs. Yeah, and the old Erwin, gang. the yeah. studio. Sure. Advertising, painting, Igues, friends, uh, yeah. His Michelena. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, the usual Yeah. <laughs> I hope Erwin will go. <laughs> I'm sure he will be. He cannot miss this. Yeah. He's going to urge him to yeah. But um, we've seen a lot of the works. We've just seen the slideshow, and we're talking about how he's going to have an exhibit. Um, but one thing that I think our viewers would like to know is what Dennis or Carlos is like as a person. And I'd like to ask you, too, as his, his close friends. He's a very friendly person. The first time, actually, we met him in, in advertising in J. Walter Thompson, he was all smiles. Oh. And <laughs> Anywhere you go, when you meet him, when you see him, he's always smiling. Yes, one of those yeah. people you can yeah. never catch yeah. Yeah. with yeah. an off face. Uh. He's never angry. Yes. We yeah, call him. Know. We call him Dennis Bumisir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the guy is uh. incredible. incredible. <laughs> one of those are then what we call like hail fellow well met. Yes, exactly. There are really people like that yeah. that yeah. just Vibes rub off on you in such yeah. a positive way and you're always so pleased to see them. My heart galitin. I last saw him on my birthday in Irwin. October. Yeah. Last October. Maganda nga. Yung never ending yesterday niya. Never ending. Beatles. Beatles my mom's favorite song. Beatles forever yan. Hindi mo tapos. Uh, Mom, yeah, we, can, we will show some pictures of Dennis through his career. I think we have early, boy, early boyhood uh, pictures. Pa. And um, for those people who would like to know more about Dennis and his work, how can they have gain access to um, photos, information, articles? If they, well, if they type Dennis... Carlos Dennis Fillard, there will be several sites on Facebook. Yes. But um, if they type Dennis, Carl, no, Dennis the Many. Uh, that's the, the many. other tag, you know, Dennis yeah, the Dennis Many. Because they got multiple yeah. artistic they personalities. Type that on, if they search for that on Facebook, then they will be led to, a, to an exhibit. Everything that will be shown in the exhibit will yeah. be there. Um, I see. But right now, I mean, before the show, it's not there yet. It's there. It's, it's there already. In fact, no. um, a good number of paintings. In fact, I think there's some pre-selling going on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, online, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot good. of paintings uh, actually have been sold already. I'm sure, before yeah. they even hung, yeah. no? Uh, uh, it's not just a good thing, it's really appreciation for the Correct. art. Yeah. Uh, yes, the I mean, really, I mean, you can, you can come or visit the website because you care for Dennis or because you care for the art. You can go to the Our exhibit. Both? Because of you'd like to sing and, 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 and enjoy the company, yeah. Yeah. Okay. but yeah. the art is astonishing. Mm -hmm. yeah. How astonishing. how did you get, uh, or how did Dennis get together with that particular gallery? Yung well, gallery. actually, that was where he was. Uh, his first one man show was. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. because so yeah, uh -huh. because he's a graduate of UP, uh -huh. and then he's yeah. always in that area, uh -huh. and then he wanted to show there. They approached uh, the so gallery. Going full yeah. cycle. In yeah. fact, yes, the, yes. the official title of the exhibit or, or the show is Dennis the Many, Carlos Dennis Filler comes home to UP. Comes, comes home, home to UP, yeah. Okay. yeah. Great. Another reason. I think for yeah. many artists, yeah. you tend to get attached to that gallery that where you had your yeah, first show. Your first yeah. yeah, it's like you know, first lovers. Uh, <laughs> First broken doesn't hearts, doesn't like we were talking about earlier. <laughs> on that note, uh, <laughs> on that note <laughs> we're we'll out of time a, for we'll the first half. We'll take a commercial half. break and then we we're begin the second half with a wonderful <laughs> video on uh, Dennis the Many's Many Artworks. <laughs>
Welcome back to the second half of Illuminati with Crip and Tricks. We are talking today about the art of Carlos Dennis Villar. And for our guests, we have Vincent Fawson, who was responsible mm -hmm. for the wonderful video. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Vincent. Such powerful yeah. images from the work of our friend uh, Dennis. Ganda ng mga people power flight na ano? Yeah, yeah. Sa Nazarene. And our other guest, Red Mansueto. Both are artists, friends of Dennis, mm -hmm. uh, and we're trying to uh, make people more aware about his art, especially since to illuminate you on Illuminati. There will be a grand <laughs> show. Uh, there is a grand we show. We don't want to call it a retrospective, but it's something like that in the sense yeah. that it covers uh, a lot of decades of his work. Yeah. Which is why you can see that the works seem to have been done by many artists. Yes. That's why he's called Dennis the Many. No. Oh, oh. Uh, right. Right. <coughs> Anong identify mo mga influences ni Dennis? Well, as I look at the paintings, uh, the the influences I guess are <coughs> Selena, Jaime de Guzman, uh -huh. and uh, ano pa? Baenz, Dolores, Colmeca, yeah, Awake, yeah. pero hindi siguro yeah. influence kasi yeah. parang contemporary yeah, yeah. sila. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Parang oh. in a way, like that. Oh. Uh, and uh, the Yellow Submarine. The Beatles, Peter of course. Beatles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Peter Marks, yeah. You mentioned that Dennis was a graduate of UP. Diba? UP, oh. yeah. Nakagraduate ba talaga? Alam ko na, mag, ano yan eh, nag, namundok, diba? Yeah, uh, hindi yata nakatapos because uh, Marshall Law, Accidentally okay. came in, and he was a part of the so-called KM. Uh, kilometer. Kilometer, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there was a time that uh, it was kind of uh, scary, this era, to be out there in the open. Uh -huh. So they were kind of hiding, and I don't know, maybe that affected his uh, his uh, supposedly graduation. But you can see the period of his life in some of his works, you know? Yeah, you can definitely. Realist. Although yeah. I didn't see anything that uh, gets anywhere close to protest art or anything. Uh, I suppose it's part of his personality, as we said kanina, no? Napaka He's always uh, smiling. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Napaka yeah. pleasant yeah. person. Yeah. Eh, Dennis, eh, no? But as good friends of his, um, having, had, having had the opportunity to speak to him about what inspired him or influenced him, did you ever hear as much as what exactly inspired him? Because as you, he has painted women, he has painted animals, landscapes. So where does he draw inspiration? He's not one of those artists that is limited to just uh, no. one particular. What I think uh, inspires him most is happiness. You know, he's always happy. Yeah, loves women. So he appreciates all the good things. Yeah. And everyone and everything. And the colors of the yellow <laughs> submarine. Yeah. Vince, you remember the time and uh, at the time you were together as advertising. Mm -hmm. You were a writer and he was art director or an mm -hmm. artist. Mm -hmm. You did you work on a particular project together? Um, several. Um, oh. We were in the Ford Group and the Ford Group was was how do you call it? Was tagged as the the team that handles accounts other groups would rather not handle. Who is wow, uh, <laughs> I like that. You mean the accounts that are difficult to handle, uh. or the accounts that are, um, for one re reason or another, they'd rather not handle, they'd rather yes, not touch. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so okay. we, had, we had very difficult clients. Very difficult assignment. So you were kind of the A team or the cleaners, <laughs> no, okay, yeah. or, or SWAT team. Let's, yeah. let's put it that way. Uh, uh, and we were on several projects. Uh, we would we'd hire off to Baguio for for a week, trying to do a commercial during magic hour lamang, which means the entire week was the actual work in an entire week was devoted to or was was. Uh, was an hour every evening because we were just trying to catch magic. It was it was a, it was 
they were difficult assignments always. Pag kayo ni Dennis ang brainstorming over a particular visual design to marry with your copy or your concept, how was he to deal with? Very, very easy. Madali. So you were given difficult assignments, but he was very easy to deal with. <laughs> forever smiling. Very forever smiling. But I, I know we have a series of uh, stills as well showing Dennis in his various reincarnations. No? Uh, <laughs> Boyhood pictures, Panito. If we can have some of those pictures now. Then. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> that is. Ayan, nabagit nga kanina, di ba? Golden Gloves champion na tayo ito eh. <laughs> si, I think nag-draw sila ni Erwin one time, eh, over 12 rounds. That's just his succeeded. This is obviously succeeded. a gallery yeah. opening. He succeeded. Now. There was a time also that Dennis Sunny. left for abroad, diba? Uh, yeah. He went to the Middle East, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ayun, uh, si Reka. Ayun, si Erwin. Yan nga, ito mo nakangisi lagi. Bugis-gis nga. Bugis-gis. Isa pa palang ano, mahal na mahal siya, tsaka mahal niya, si ano? O si Sidreyes. Sidreyes. Si Cesar Aquino, nandun mo yeah, yun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yan, o. Kasama rin. Gusto niya lagi. Yeah. Oh, the usual suspects, o. This was in, ano? Ayala Museum, I think. Ayala Museum, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Seems to be very popular with the uh, gallery public. Hindi, Bad Santos. <laughs> ah, okay. Ayun, laki pala nung isang yun, ha? Yeah, Ayun, laki. Ang laki nun, no? Ang ganda nung yun, ha? So, nag-ano siya? He, he worked in the Mideast for some time. Then, yeah, yeah. As an art director. Ayun yung, ano, yung Nazareno series talaga. Ayun. 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 Oh, Erwin. Erwin. Danny Delena, behind him. Mm. Uh, Mayo Atlantis. Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh. Oh. Us. <laughs> Dalawang agents niya, kasama niya. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, well, snippets of uh, our friend Dennis's life. Uh, I'm hoping uh, when a video copy uh, gets into Dennis' hands, when he's a little better, you know, he will appreciate how his friends are helping yeah. uh, promote his person and his artworks. There are also other artworks that are not in the series. Anytime it can probably be shown. Yeah, also. yeah. Uh, uh, yung Sa UP ba noon meron siyang contemporary uh, kasamang mga estudyante or I artists? I really don't remember. Uh, that would be late 60s, no? Yeah, uh, late during 60s. martial law, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't exactly remember who among the artists now are the contemporary. Ay, ito, ito pala. Yan, yun yung last series natin. Ito yung unang-una. Uh, Oh, the, again, that's very Angel. different. Yeah, cherubs, no? Cherubs, yeah. I think that was the one of the Ito, first, first. Pop art. Yeah. He was also a winner of a watercolor competition. Eh? The art. Yeah. I, I don't think he, he won more than one award. Several yeah, awards. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, well, if I'm not mistaken, baka nanalo ba si Dennis ng ano? One of the covers of the PLDT. You know, parang mayroong mga... I don't Parang mayroong isa ko ng tandaan <laughs> na parang kawig nung yeah. babaw niya. Eh, right, diba? I know which one you're talking uh, about. <laughs> not the Cory one last year. 
yung mentorship niya sa sa UP. Hindi masyadong na-formalize no kasi nga he fled na to the hills no Marcelo. Mm, yeah, yeah. Would you say Vince and Redna he really developed his various styles through his uh, participation in the advertising industry? Develop. Uh, what I remember is that the his first his first uh, mentor was the comics comics uh, illustrators in the province I think Iloilo and then it was developed again when he came back to Manila but it was mostly about comics illustrators and then when he went to advertising for the first time nation advertising yata uh, then he started to develop his his skills in advertising okay. before he went into the bigger advertising agencies yeah. Did he ever do comics? I don't I know. I think he yeah, did. I think he did. Yeah, I uh -huh. think he. Uh, he was he was doing some, but I don't know uh -huh. how how advanced he did in in the comics uh, business. Uh -huh. I don't know. Because if you're in advertising, you'd have done everything. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Whether commercially or real comics. Or the, the peak of that group's uh, existence in advertising, would you agree, Vince, was the time that they handled the uh, San Miguel beer? There's I don't know if it's peak. Um, Macan beer group. Uh, uh, but uh, definitely that, that produced very, very good work. And including storyboarding. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for all the Fernando Po yes. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. poses and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, I understand one of their their only major problem then was how to keep Regatinidad from hugging the camera. Yung nauna pa siya, sinasapawan niya si Ronnie Po eh. Pag yung lulusog na yung mga revolusyonaro, unang-una siyang tumatakbo eh. Erwin was telling me he wanted to keep in Keep Rekha in leg chains, <laughs> but in the. It's <laughs> Rekha. But uh, I think that was when the group really became very solid. No? Yeah, yeah. They always yeah, uh, worked yeah. together with Sunny and Nigel, yeah, especially yeah. Elena. Isa pang sumali dyan, Felix Pocas. Felix Pocas, yeah. Under, ano, poet, yeah. Ex uh, yeah. Yes, we find a, lo a lot of the artists, really, visual and literary artists, end up working in advertising. <coughs> sa ano, sa amin, sa mga writers, isa yan sa mga binabalaan ko yung mga estudyante ko, na yung merong gumagaling sa creative writing, and then they ask for career options. And I say, well, one is academe, one is advertising. Pero sabi ko, pag writer ka, tsaka pumasok ka sa advertising, medyo magre-retire ka muna sa creative work. I don't know, I don't think this is true with artists, no? with visual artists. Uh, parang madaming galing sa advertising or habang nasa advertising, nag-exhibit, di ba? I do. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Me, yeah. Uh -huh. I never left painting actually when I was in advertising. There are people, of course, who, who stop completely. Uh -huh. And then only when they retire, that's yes. when they pick it up again. Uh, yes, but there are uh, those that continue. And like right now, we know some people who work in advertising for a day job, and then they still continue creative writing. Well, I, I, I know a famous young poet who, <laughs> when he got into advertising, his poetry became um, <laughs> three killers. He just produces one word. One page, full <laughs> concept, full eh, concept. Right, right. Uh, I won't name the fellow. <laughs> he knows who I'm talking about. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> but for writers, nga, mas ano, mas parang mas mahirap. I don't know if it's because nagiiba ba yung styles, copy ganyan, or or is it the lifestyle of ad agency people? Because puyatan kayo ganyan. It's a wala nang time mag uh, labenos, labenos master when it uh, eat your time. But um, in fairness to to the industry, it is such a, how do you call this, kind-hearted to, to writers and artists. I mean, many of, many writers and many artists 
went into advertising, only because the money was in advertising, yes, yes. and there wasn't much in, in art. Um, but advertising um, really embraced them, accepted them, accepted their, their talent, without a single glance of whether they had degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, really, we, we didn't care yeah. whether a person was titled or not. That's right. And um, however one feels about the industries um, tasking you with commercial um, requirements or, or jobs or whatever, uh, you, you do get trained, you do get um, disciplined, even I think in writing. Um, yeah. You, in writing, you practically discover nuances you would probably not, not think about. I mean, the, the pause is suddenly more, more effective uh, because you discover it in advertising. Very true. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Vince, if I can pursue that now. I know for a fact uh, a lot of friends have been commending you on your own. It seems you've, you've, you've found your material uh, as an artist, diba? Your, your iPad artwork, no? I've seen <laughs> quite a few. Mm -hmm. uh, yung bago lang ba to, sa pag-iPad? Or you, you always... You had um, sublimated it before, <coughs> or what? No, in fact, um, um, the last time I picked up a paintbrush or pen, pencil was when I was probably seven or nine years old. Okay. And all my, all my notebooks, the, at least the back pages of my notebooks, were filled with drawings. Uh, but after that, I, uh, I picked it up again a little more than a year ago. Yeah, I decided to draw and paint and asked a good friend, Tito Roy, to to introduce me to this most difficult uh, master. And then discovered, uh, five months ago, discovered the iPad and just realized it was far easier to, it, it's to becoming, master. It's becoming uh, uh, an artistic uh, medium. Tool, medium. Uh, I know like mm, important artists in the UK and in America actually have exhibits yes. of iPad art. Either projected on the screen or pin it print out like yeah. a you know, flash. Mm -hmm. So can we look forward to uh, featuring you? A first one man <laughs> show. Uh, I always say, hanggang gallery Facebook na lang. Pero mo ganda yung permanent record then. Uh, yeah. Then we can hope na some bishops will come in and protest over something and para pag-usap pa That's bayan. something to look forward uh, to. <laughs> Maybe the next time we'll, add, we'll, we'll organize a show for Vince. Uh, 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 Let's go back to right. Dennis. <laughs> iPad. Okay. Speaking of bads, um, I read an article, a beautiful article written by Alan Rivera, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And then um, it mentioned how passionate Dennis mm. has always been about his art, so much so that even as a child, he would rip off the back cardboard of his pad yeah. pad paper yeah. and give it to people who he knew were um, uh, skilled uh, in painting or drawing because he just loved to watch them yes. and he loved to absorb and he loved to experience, I guess, that artistry. So um, I really urge our viewers to come see the show. This is um, when, did I read? August? Uh, August yeah. 26th, Friday. this Friday. 6 p.m. Yeah, uh, this Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the UP, again to repeat, Balai Alumni, mm -hmm. uh, the art gallery on the side, uh, yeah. uh, run by Kitten uh, uh, yes. The art circle. The art the circle. Gallery. I'm sorry. Uh, Igao Red, any plans this morning or, or any show uh, well, actually this year or early next year? We just finished show with, with uh, tricks here. Oh. The whole family, <laughs> actually. Yeah, but you can't get a lot of people who are impressed by it. Now, you just organize. Diba? Yung sa Cebu, yung yeah, gana. I love organizing oh. shows. He yeah. loves organizing oh. and he I does a wonderful yeah, yeah, job. But he just yeah. showed like really pretty exceptional works, yeah. outstanding. Uh, I have yeah. a lot of friends that really like were trying to figure out ways to save up just to buy the Red's uh. works in Gallery Nova. Ah, yung Nova, huh? Yes. Right yeah, now, Manny Montalibano is showing yeah. there, uh. so come see that show too. Well, we've been trying to get this uh, guest that very, yung parang shooting star of Philippine art. It's just been evasive and, ano, Maxine something? You know? Maxine? <laughs> Maxine? Shooting oh, star. Oh, no, parang yes, she has um, engagements now abroad, eh. Ada, yeah. We 
can never get there on the Philippines, <laughs> right? Uh, something like that, or modeling. <laughs> yeah, she's in demand. Or she's working on a new in book. In Korea, ganyan. Mm -hmm. No, she is actually. Uh, my sister Maxine is, is um, producing know, works right and now and to exhibit in Korea and Singapore. Yeah, Maxine? Yes, she's been yeah, invited that's, that's from the last show. So yeah. I hope you can come see also that ongoing show. It runs till September 8th. That's I believe the one in Now uh, Gallery. Now ah, Gallery. Now naman ito. Oh, this is yeah, Now that's Gallery. That's what I was looking for. Oh, oh, by Patrick Reno. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so back uh, to Dennis. Like I mentioned earlier, yeah. um, he's such a passionate, such an admirable artist and a person as well. So I do hope you can come see his show on August 26th. I, I, I don't have the address of the gallery memorized, so I'll leave uh, sa, it no, to the crypt. You be in the <laughs> demand, <laughs> tanong nyo lang, Balay Alumni, or behind the film center. Yeah. Uh, behind the first quadrangle. You know. Dennis, mabuhay ka at mag-inuman uh, tayo sa Viernes. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I sure hope I can meet him. Pakidala lang ng gitara, no? I really do. <laughs> 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 uh, I will gladly play the guitar uh, and sing with him. Too. Ayan, oh, sing, sabi ko yan, sa Friday. And those who might miss it this Friday, dami mo sa You can catch it until, until when? It should be on for at least a couple more weeks, baka three weeks. Yeah, two or three, three weeks. Uh, Oh, through weeks. September. Oh. And I'm looking forward to getting my selection, my, my <laughs> new, my new. Your needs. <laughs> okay, so that's about all the time we have for this episode. Much, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for right. having us. Uh, uh, we'll see you again you. in the following weeks. Uh, thank you thank for you. our guest. Thank you. Until time yesterday. Or, uh, yesterday. <laughs> That is. All my troubles seem so far away. 